It just it so happened that we were there for a meeting for JCCW that day. Not according to Paris. 
Chúa yêu con, mênh mông như biển Thái Bình, dàn dào như ngàn con sông, vũ về năm tháng tươi con. Tình ngài như mưa đỉnh núi, suốt đời tuôn đổ ra dào, một tình yêu vô biên. Hồng ân chúa như mưa như mưa rơi xuống đời con miên man miên man nâng đỡ tình con trong tay trong tay vòng tay thương mến đời có chúa em chúa em chúa chúa dám dìu con luôn luôn không thôi có chúa cùng đi con không đơn côi ôi tình tuyệt vời xa xôi ngày tháng em trôi yêu thương như nước suối dòng mặn nồng như làn hơi ấm đổ đầy mưa nắng đời con còn gì như ơn tình chúa dẫn diều con bước trong đời từng nhịp chân yêu thương từng nhịp chân yêu thương hồng ân chúa như mưa như mưa rơi xuống đời con miên man miên man nâng đỡ tình con trong tay trong tay Bóng tay thương mến Đời có Chúa em trôi em trôi Chúa dặn dìu con luôn luôn không thôi Có Chúa cùng đi con không đơn côi Ôi tình tuyệt vời Hồng ân Chúa như mưa như mưa Rơi xuống đời con miên man miên man Nâng đỡ tình con trong tay, trong tay, vòng tay thương mến. Đời có Chúa em trôi, em trôi, Chúa dặn dìu con luôn luôn không thôi. Có Chúa cùng đi con không đơn côi, ôi tình tuyệt vời.
bao đêm đời con tiếc lấy chi bao đêm hồng ân chúa
Chwale Ciebie, Panie. Chwale Ciebie, Panie. I uwielbiam. I uwielbiam. Znoszę w górę moje ręce. Uwielbiając imię Twe. Chwale Ciebie, Panie. Chwale Ciebie, Panie. I uwielbiam. I uwielbiam. Znoszę w górę moje ręce. Uwielbiając imię Twe. Bo wielkiś Ty. Wielkie dzieła czynisz dziś. Nie dorówna Tobie nikt. Nie dorówna Tobie nikt. Bo wielkiś Ty. Wielkie dzieła czynisz dziś. Nie dorówna Tobie Ciebie, Panie, chwale Ciebie, Panie, i uwielbiam, i uwielbiam, znoszę w górę moje ręce, uwielbiając imię Twe. Chwale Ciebie, Panie, chwale Ciebie, Panie, i uwielbiam. I uwielbiam, wznoszę w górę moje ręce, uwielbiając imię Twe. O wielki Ty, wielkie dzieła czynisz dziś, nie dorówna Tobie nikt, nie dorówna Tobie nikt. O wielkiś Ty, wielkie dzieła czynisz dziś, nie dorówna Tobie nikt, nie dorówna Tobie nikt. Ale Ciebie, Panie, Za wszystko, co uczyniłeś mi, Jezu, ja dziękuję Ci, że kochasz mnie. Za wszystko, co od Ciebie mam, że nie będę nigdy sam. Dziękuję Ci za wszystko, co uczyniłeś mi. Jezu, ja dziękuję Ci, że kochasz mnie za wszystko, co od Ciebie mam. Że nie będę nigdy sam. Dziękuję Ci. Dziękuję Ci, Jezu. Dziękuję Ci, Jezu. Dziękuję, tak bardzo jestem wdzięczny Ci. Dziękuję Ci, Jezu. Dziękuję Ci, Jezu. Dziękuję. Dziękuję, tak bardzo jestem wdzięczny.
reading in Spanish. sister told me if she doesn't come in, I have to be prepared to read it. But I didn't, I'm not a reader.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Cathedral of St. Raymond and Athens. I'm Father Bill Dewan. I'm the rector here at the cathedral. And on behalf of the bishop, we're really, really glad that you're here for this very special Mass that begins our celebration of the 75th anniversary of the establishment of our diocese, the Diocese of Joliet. So just a few directives. One, follow along in your, um, your, your worship aid there that you have. It's going to help you be able to participate more fully in the Mass, so please use your worship aid. And I have two directions for you. The first is we're going to have this very, very, very long procession in a few minutes, and it's going to begin with the Knights of Columbus, and then it's going to follow with the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre. Do not stand. The real procession for, with the, for the Mass begins when you see the, the cross and candles coming down the aisle. So you see the cross, and, so stay seated for the initial procession. You see the cross coming down the aisle, that's your signal to stand up. And the last directive is as follows. At the end, there's a reception, and the reception takes place through these doors here. But we need to get all the bishops back into the sacristy, and so we're going to keep these doors closed as soon as the Mass is over. We're going to ask you to stay in your seats. Once you see these doors open, then you're more than welcome. It'll only take a few seconds. But once you see the doors here open, that'll be your signal to come on into the reception and enjoy each other's company. So again, welcome to the cathedral as we together celebrate this very, very special Mass commemorating our 75th.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of God. Peace be with you. Happy 75th anniversary. We gather today with joy, with hope, with memories, and especially with an abundance of faith. As together we gather not only to commemorate these 75 years, but also to celebrate this Eucharist and hope toward the future, passing our faith on to the next generations. So, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us do so as always by remembering our faults, our sins, and asking for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to my God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and in my life what I have failed to do. In my fault, in my fault, in my life's grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for you and the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Dios, Padre de todos los dones, de quien procede cuánto somos y tenemos, enséñanos a reconocer los beneficios de tu inmensa generosidad y a amarte con sincero corazón y con todas nuestras fuerzas. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Lectura del primer libro de los reyes. En aquellos días, el rey Salomón se puso de pie y en voz alta bendijo a toda la asamblea israelita con estas palabras. Bendito sea el Señor que ha concedido la paz a su pueblo Israel conforme a sus promesas. No ha dejado de cumplir ninguna de las promesas que nos hizo por medio de su siervo Moisés. Que el Señor nuestro Dios esté con nosotros como estuvo con nuestros padres. Que no nos abandone ni nos rechace. Que incline hacia Él nuestro corazón para que sigamos todos sus caminos y cumplamos los preceptos, mandamientos y decretos que dio a nuestros padres. Y que esta súplica hecha al Señor permanezca día y noche junto al Señor nuestro Dios diariamente para que haga justicia a su siervo y a su pueblo Israel. Así sabrán todas las naciones del mundo que el Señor es el Dios verdadero y que no hay otro. Así también nuestros corazones serán totalmente del Señor nuestro Dios y cumpliremos sus preceptos y mandamientos como hoy lo hacemos. Palabra de Dios. your throne for all generations. Say of me, you are my father, 
my God, the rock, my Savior, forever I사도 바오로의 에페소서 말씀입니다. 그러므로 주님 안에서 수인이 된 내가 여러분에게 권고합니다. 여러분이 받은 부르심에 합당하게 살아가십시오. 겸손과 온유를 다하고 인내심을 가지고 사랑으로 서로 참아주며 성령께서 평화의 끈으로 이루어주신 일치를 보존하도록 애쓰십시오. 하느님께서 여러분을 부리실 때에 하나의 희망을 주신 것처럼 그리스도의 몸도 하나이고 성령도 한 분이십니다. 주님도 한 분이시고 믿음도 하나이며 세례도 하나이고 마물의 아버지이신 하느님도 한 분이십니다. 그분은 마물 위에 마물을 통하여 마물 안에 계십니다. 주님의 말씀입니다. 
Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Countdowns are used for rocket launches. They're used at the beginning of the new year, like in Times Square, and they're also used at the start of a race. Today, we are using this countdown to launch our 75th Jubilee celebration of the Diocese of Joliet in Illinois. The Diocese of Joliet was established by a decree issued by Pope Pius XII on December 11th, 1948. It was created from seven counties in Illinois, Ford, Iroquois, Kankakee, Grundy, Kendall, Will, and DePage. And as we are celebrating these 75 years today, it would have been very easy to say this is a one and done. That we are going to have one big mass, we're going to have some sort of reception, we're going to check the box, say we celebrated it, move on to the next day, and go. But we, in this diocese, made a decision. Let's not make this a one and done, but let's take today to actually launch a year-long celebration of the 75th Jubilee. And that year-long celebration is going to include masses, events, 
gatherings, a curriculum of catechesis, evangelization, and service, a calendar to learn about and to celebrate the diocese, and a banner to display in your parishes and to promote the 75th anniversary with our logo. There is going to be a lot going on from now for an entire year when we come together again to celebrating the concluding Mass. There's a lot going on. And my friends, there's so much going on that I doubt that all of you will be able to attend everything. But with a sincere heart, I ask you to participate in something. When you see the, the regional mass that's taking place in your area where you live, go to it. Encourage other people around to come with you. Gather people from other parishes so that we realize, you know what, the diocese is bigger than my own parish. We're brothers and sisters to each other. We've got this beautiful large diocese, so go to it. Encourage them. When you see things happening in your deaneries, in your parishes, be it a, a, a gathering or a service project or a service day or some particular thing connected to the 75th anniversary, consider it. A and even be an ambassador for it. Share it with others. Again, you won't be able to do everything, but at least do something. Hoy estamos aquí celebrando los 75 años de nuestro diócesis. Y por 75 años estamos celebrando que nosotros tenemos un diócesis con vida. Que en realidad hay fe aquí. Y nosotros como hermanos, hermanas, caminamos juntos con Dios en el centro de nuestras vidas. ¿Y saben qué? El aniversario es el 11 de diciembre. Y me da mucho, mucho gusto que es el día antes de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. ¿Verdad que sí? Mañana en grande vamos a celebrar su día. Pero como estamos anticipando su día de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe, nosotros como buen católicos, como gente de fe, vamos a pedir la bendición de nuestra madre. Ella no solamente es la madre de Dios, no solamente es la madre de San Juan Diego, sino también ella nos dice que es nuestra madre. Y nuestra madre solamente quiere una cosa de todos nosotros. Ella quiere que todos nosotros Supimos a Cristo, que conozcamos a Cristo y que servimos a, servamos a Cristo. Eso es lo que quiere ella. Entonces, con ella, su bendición, nosotros ponemos Cristo, su Hijo, en el centro de nuestras vidas. Today we hear the beautiful gospel of the vine and the branches. And right there in the gospel, Jesus says, sometimes you have to prune the branches so that we can thrive and continue to grow. And as you know, in this diocese after 75 years, we are looking structurally of how to prune some of our branches so that we aren't a diocese that is only looking at maintenance or maintenance of buildings, but that we are a diocese that is truly thriving with the mission of the church, a diocese that is alive, a diocese that is vibrant, a diocese that is worth passing on to the next generation. So this gospel today reminds us, focus your life on God who is the author of life, who is the giver of life, the creator of life. And most importantly, connect to his son, Jesus, who through him we have life eternal, specifically through his life, 
suffering, death, and resurrection. As we launch our year-long celebration of this jubilee, I want to do it through the lens of the number three. The number three. Number three, three, is an important number in the Bible. Do you know the number three is mentioned in our Bible 467 times? It's in there a lot. And right now in your own heads, you've gone to church, you've studied the Bible. Can you come up with like kind of three instances that there's pairs of three, three something in the Bible? I'm sure all of you instantly can come up with some of them. There's 467. You have to come up with something. So I'm just going to give you a few, a few examples of what we have here. So the number three, we're about to celebrate Jesus' birth. And at his birth, he receives three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. After he's born, calls his disciples, Peter actually denies him one, two, and three times. But the great thing about Peter, like all of us, even though he denies Jesus, he also affirms his love for him one, two, and three times. And then, Jesus, after his life suffering and death, actually rises from the day. His resurrection is on the third day. And that resurrection is what we celebrate at every single Mass, at everything that we do, that we believe in the risen Christ who is alive and truly present with us. And then finally, just one more example. What does St. Paul tell us about the spiritual gifts? That there's many spiritual gifts, but there's only three that last. It is faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So, with faith, hope, and love, let's use the number three now to launch our 75th Jubilee. Here we go. During this entire year, we are going to, one, remember the past, two, celebrate the present, and three, hope for the future. What do I mean by that? We're going to take this entire year, this entire year, to remember our past. Because, you know, we have a wonderful past. We started off small, like a little acorn, but we have continued to grow and grow and grow and flourish. And we have grown because we have had some great leaders and amazing priests and deacons and their wives and laity and volunteers and parishioners all coming together with faith, hope, and love to build this diocese to create parishes and schools and ministries all around the mission of Christ. So to be proud of our past, that's a great thing. We are going to take time to, one, remember our past throughout the entire year. Two, we are going to celebrate the present. That's what we're doing right now. In present time, we come together in celebration. And as Catholics, how do we celebrate? It's always first with the Mass, with the Eucharist. Receiving the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is the Eucharist that we celebrate with. The word Eucharist is a Greek word that means to give thanks. So today, as we gather to celebrate, we are giving thanks to God, giving thanks to each other, giving thanks to everyone who has been part of this endeavor we call the Diocese of Joliet. And then three, we are going to hope for the future. 
There is not a single one of us here who wants to say that we are going to be the last generation in our family who practices the faith. All of us, I, I hope, had this great desire to say our faith is a gift. It's the treasure of eternal life. It's how we manifest God here in our world. This gift of faith and the church is something that we want to pass on from generation to generation and generation. So we hope for the future. We don't end it with this celebration, but we to continue to give, to pray, to lead, to strive, so that our faith will continue, my hope, here in the diocese in Joliet until Jesus himself returns in his glory in the second coming. A few more threes. I just talked about remembering the past, celebrating the present, and hoping for the future. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, says basically the exact same thing, but this is how he says it. It's poetic. He says, look, live, embrace. And I'm going to quote him. He says, look to the past with gratitude. Live the present with passion and embrace the future with hope. Today, when the presentations of gifts come up, when we're presenting all the gifts and the bread and the wine to the altar for the Eucharist, there's going to be a, a song that most of you probably will recognize. It's an oldie but a goodie. It was written about two years after this diocese was formed, and it's called Remember. Remember, as soon as you hear the tune, I, I think most of you will catch on to it. Sing it out loud. S sing it with loud voices. But, but the refrain is the same thing I'm talking about. What are we doing here for an entire year? We remember, we celebrate, we believe. That's what we will be doing throughout the entire year. So we remember. We do remember. And one of the things we remember are our bishops who have passed. So again, speaking of three bishops who have passed to eternal life, we do we remember and we honor bishops McNamara, Blanchette, and Imish. And we also celebrate and we believe with us bishops who are living. Archbishop Sarton, who went from here on to Seattle, Bishop Conlon, our emeritus, and me, your current bishop, number six. We celebrate and we believe with all of us. And I'd also just like to extend a word of gratitude to our former auxiliary bishops. And it just works out that it works in those numbers at three also. So we say thank you to bishops Kassira, Ryan, and Vanish. And we also say thank you to bishops Kaffer, Fitzgerald, and Bishop Siegel, who he is with us tonight. During this year-long celebration, we are going to continue our vision of this diocese, a vision that I launched when I came just about three years ago. There's a lot of threes here. It's a vision of catechesis, evangelization, and faith into action. What does that mean? Catechesis, it's us knowing something about Jesus. Evangelization, it's loving Jesus. And faith into action, it's serving Jesus by loving God and loving our neighbors as ourselves. And as we do all these things, we're going to do them together as the body of Christ. Because the one thing that you have heard me say as your bishop for three years, it is because of you. I look behind me and before me and to the sides. It's because of all of you, this amazing body of Christ, that as your bishop, I continue every day 
to feel blessed, happy, and grateful. So together, as the body of Christ, as laity, as religious women and men, and as clergy, we gather together, all in the context of our 75th Jubilee theme, which is founded in faith, called to witness, sent forth to serve. Hoy yo estoy hablando un poquito del pasado, del presente y del futuro. Eso es todo lo que estamos celebrando. Nosotros estamos celebrando el pasado con gozo. Tenemos un Dios que sí es muy bueno y tenemos que este, recordar las memorias, la gente, todo, todo lo que somos en nuestro pasado. Estamos celebrando también el presente con la Eucaristía, dando gracias a Dios con el cuerpo, la sangre de Cristo. Y estamos esperando, esperando al futuro en nuestro diócesis. Pero ¿saben qué? En español hay un dicho que me gusta mucho. El dicho es seguir adelante. Y yo creo que eso es más correcto que solamente esperar para el futuro. Seguir adelante es algo que existe en la cultura hispana, pero estas palabras en realidad no existen en inglés. Seguir adelante. Seguir adelante es como seguir, pero con perseverancia, con paciencia. Es decir, hay la cruz y la resurrección y en cualquier cosa nosotros vamos a seguir caminando con Cristo y caminar juntos como hermanas y hermanas. Entonces, en realidad, nosotros vamos a recordar el pasado, celebrar el presente y seguir adelante con esperanza. So tonight, as we honor our 75th Jubilee, and tonight as we launch our year-long celebration, remember that we are guided by St. Francis Xavier, our patron of this diocese. We are guided by Our Lady of Guadalupe, whose feast day we celebrate tomorrow. And as always, as Christ promised, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. So, as we do all that, please join me in the countdown as together we say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. And, and, and by the way, by the way, remember that everything that we do throughout this entire year of Jubilee celebration, we do so in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Founded in faith, let us now bring all of our prayers and our petitions to our loving God. Open Kyewa, Uri Kyuang Francisco, Chugi Yongdul, De Chugudul, 
주교들, 수도회 아파스들, 사제들, 부제들, 후도자들 그리고 평신도들을 위해 기도합시다 이들이 정의와 평화 안에서 모든 백성에게 봉사하게 하소서 우리 모두 주님께 기도합시다 For peace in the Holy Land, the place where Jesus Christ was born, suffered, died, and rose on Easter Sunday, and throughout the world, especially in the Ukraine, may all people, actions show forth the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Pour notre nation, ses dirigeants et son peuple, qu'un entente renouvelé de la diversité encourage un environnement d'intégrité et de paix durable. Prions le Seigneur. the Diocese of Joliet, founded in faith under Bishop Martin McNamara, nurtured and called to witness by Bishop Romeo Blanchett, Bishop Joseph Imish, Archbishop Peter Sarton, Bishop Daniel Conlon, and Bishop Ronald Hicks. May its people yield an abundant harvest as they are sent forth to serve all humanity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Para sa lahat ng mga parokya na bumubuo ng ating diocese na sa panahon ng pagdiriwang ng ikapitong potlimang anibersaryo sa pagkatatag ng ating dioceses at kasabay na rin sa pandaigdigang pagdiwang natin ng pambansang pagbibigay buhay sa Eucharistia na way mabuksan ang ating mga puso at kaisipan sa buhay na presensya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, hear our
live within the Diocese of Joliet for faith communities of all religions. May a growing spirit of unity and peace bind all individuals to one another in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Za wszystkich, którzy potrzebują naszych modlitw, szczególnie odrzuceni, pozbawieni środków do życia, bezdomni, samotni, migranci, ofiary wojen i przemocy, chorzy i umierający, niech uzdrawiająca moc naszego łagodnego Boga da im pociechę i pokój. Ciebie prosimy. todos los fieles difuntos que nos han precedido como testigos de la vida de Cristo, especialmente todos los que han servido, ejercido su ministerio y han formado parte de la diócesis de Joliet. Que la vida eterna sea su recompensa. Roguemos al Señor. As we gather here today with great faith, hope, and love to remember, to celebrate, and with hope believe, we present all of our prayers into your loving hands. If these prayers are according to your will, we ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord.
And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. For the gifts you've bestowed, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly begging that what you've confirmed upon us in our unworthiness, we may give back to the glory of your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we've brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Raymond and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In the sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Ronald, the bishop of this local church, be your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, <coughs> O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. The, the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Señor Dios, que nos has entregado como alimento espiritual el sacramento salvífico de tu Hijo, que te ofrecimos en acción de gracias concédenos estar de tal manera sostenidos con los dones de fortaleza y alegría, que podamos servirte con más entrega y merezcamos así alcanzar nuevos beneficios tuyos. Por Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. Amén. Before we pray the beautiful 75th anniversary prayer together, and before... I need my... Thank you, So before we do that, and before I offer my, uh, my final blessing, just want to uh, share with you a few words of gratitude. So in deep gratitude, I would like to say a very sincere thank you to the entire 75th anniversary committee. This, this group of people have been hardworking, creative, dedicated, expressed their love and their faith, and they've done so with a lot of leadership. So to all of them, a thank you. A thanks to everyone who organized this very special Mass today, and a thanks especially to everyone who has served and volunteered at this Mass, and a thanks to our combination of choirs who have helped us to beautifully worship God today. And also, to all of you, thank you. Thank you for your attendance and your faith which motivates you to be here. Thank you for being here both physically and those who are celebrating with us virtually today. A todos ustedes les doy gracias. Gracias por estar, gracias por asistir, gracias por compartir su fe. Esta ha sido una celebración bonita y es aún más bonita porque todos nosotros así estamos reunidos aquí. I'd especially like to thank also all my brother bishops who took time out of their busy schedules also to celebrate with us today. And also thank you to those who are representing the Syro Malabar Catholics, the Ukrainian Catholics of the Byzantine tradition, and the Greek Orthodox Church. Thanks too, sincerely, to all the priests, to the deacons and their wives, to all of us, all of those who are the religious women and the religious men, to all of our seminarians, to all the lady, the laity, be it if you are an employee, a volunteer, a parishioner, a family member, we're disciples of God. To all of you, thank you. Thank you for being here because together, as I said in my homily, we form the body of Christ, with Christ, with God in the center of our lives. After Mass, I'd just like to invite everyone to the Cathedral Commons, to the Genevesium for a nice reception. And as we go our separate ways with each other, I'm just going to ask that we truly pray for each other. Please pray for me. I will be praying for you specifically in all your intentions. And let us not only pray for each other, but let us pray for this year-long celebration of Jubilee, that we might continue to truly grow in our faith as we go forth founded in faith, called to witness, and sent forth to serve. Please join me now as we join our voices in the 75th anniversary prayer. All-knowing and loving God, we give you thanks for your blessings upon the Diocese of Joliet. For 75 years, we have been founded in faith, called to witness, and sent forth to serve. In thanksgiving, we are abiding Christ among us, and with gratitude for the life and service of those who have gone before us, we recommend ourselves to carry out the decision entrusted to them 
to us and to the future generations. Rely on the intercession of our patron, St. Francis Xavier. May our intercession continue to be a source of hope for the Church and all the peoples, now and in the years to come. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of our Lord's prayer. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.